autumn afternoon in Rapid City, South Dakota, and Tom Barnett is desperate for money. Like a predator staking his prey, he moves in towards the automatic teller machine. His victim uses her card to access the ATM. Barnett quickly follows her inside. Just got off work. Barnett's actions make her so nervous, she enters the wrong code numbers in the machine. Barnett senses her uneasiness. His prey is about to take flight. The woman withdraws all the cash she can. The rest of it. Here you Okay, now you stand over. Don't move. You stay right there. Don't move. Don't you dare move. Barnett tapes the door shut, trapping the petrified woman inside. Barnett stops at a small frame house on the outskirts of town to pick up his wife and young son. He plans to take them to Denver. Come on, Billy. The family heads south into Wyoming toward what they believe will be a new life for them. Today. <laughs> You're making me nervous. Please slow down. As the robbery suspect and his family drive south, Wyoming Highway Patrolman Rick Dye approaches from the opposite direction. He spots the Barnett car passing other traffic and quickly uses his radar to get a lock on its speed. There's a highway patrolman. I told you you needed to slow down. By the time Officer Dye crosses over to the south lane, Barnett is more than a half a mile ahead. The patrolman has to go 90 just to catch up with him. Dye signals the driver to pull over. See your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance. Well, this, this is my friend's car, officer. I don't have uh, the registration or proof of insurance. I, I've got I've got my license with me, though. The driver hands Di an Oregon driving permit instead of a driver's this license, using the yes, excuse sir. that he's been in the military and just returned from Germany. Yes, officer Di returns to his patrol car to issue the driver a traffic citation for speeding and also to check out the car's registration. Casper 76, 1028, 1029. 1028, Oregon, Casper. Dye sees Barnett suddenly jump out of his car and reacts. I've got something that Get might help. Get back in the car, now! You wanted some paper? Get back in the car! These might help you! Get back! Barnett explains that he's just found his military driver's license and offers it to reassure the patrolman. What do you got? My military driver's license, sir. Well, that's not going to help. But it helps me Stay drive. Stay in the car. Do not leave the car again. But, Thank you. Yes, sir. Mommy, I'm scared. Okay, Billy, just sit still and be quiet. As Dai finishes writing the ticket, dispatch notifies him about the car and its occupants. Come here. Stolen vehicle. Occupants are considered armed and dangerous. Pick up and hold vehicle and occupants. 10-4. Copied. I'm on the bypass. I'm in route. Fellow patrolman Brad Ward also hears the dispatcher's report. He radios Dai, letting him know that he's just moments away. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. As his backup arrives, Guy moves his car away from the suspect. The suspect sees the second officer arriving and panics. Don't try to stop. No, they're not stopping us from going to Denver. They're not stopping us. Patrolman Ward watches and Barnett threatens. You're screwing everything up! You're screwing everything up! Oh, God! No! No! Drop the weapon! Drop the weapon or I'll kill you! Get out on your belly now! Down! Down! Rick, Rick, you okay? 
okay? Are you okay? Don't move or I'll kill you. Yeah, I'm all right. There's two other people in the car. Boys, she didn't have anything to do with it. I know. Nothing. Barnett continues to insist that his wife was unaware of his prior activities. As twilight nears, Patrolman Dye takes no chances and keeps the suspect pinned to the ground until an ambulance arrives. I don't recall reacting. I, I did what I've been trained to do. I, I simply reacted the way I was trained to react. I don't remember to this day what drove me to do what I did. I just simply did it. response to calls for help. Arkansas State Trooper B.R. Skipper knows getting there fast. Just the...